This is the hive that had the extra queen that was loose in the cluster. And this one could have so-called absconded because they had a loose queen. The whole cluster could have just flown off and I'd have lost like $150 worth of bees. But I removed the loose queen, the extra queen. The queen on the queen cage that came with the package, she's right here from the screw eye. Um, when I got the bees to cluster in the cage, I had or in the hive, I had to do that manually, and I couldn't film that. But basically, they're clustered. They came to like right here. I wanted them here, so what I had to do, like with the other hive, I had to move the queen cage. So the queen cage was originally here, and then I undid the queen cage by moving the screw eye, and just moved the screw eye over. Because when you look inside. The hive, like when you do a like a two-hour check later, if the bees have clustered to one side of the hive, and you see the queen cage sticking out of the side of the cluster, that's not going to do, because it when it's cold at night, she could chill on the edge of the cluster. So if the cluster hadn't completely come to the queen cage, the queen cage has to go to the cluster. It's quite easy. Just unscrew the screw eye, and just move the queen cage over because the wire is going to go right between the two bars and just let it kind of go over into the cluster and then just screw it down right here. Don't let it lay up against the side of the hive though. So it's a pretty easy little maneuver. In top bar hive beekeeping sometimes you have to just innovate a little bit. Okay, I haven't looked in this hive for three days. I don't know what we're going to find. We're just going to go in and look at it and deal with whatever we find. So the entrance is here. Give them a little smoke. Already I can see the cluster is pretty close to the front of the hive. So we're going to get in the cluster pretty quick. You see the bees are on the second top bar building cone. But they pull back a little bit. I'm going to shake those back in. And then I got enough working room, I'm just going to go right to the queen cage. But first, let me check something. Yeah, I can feel the cluster is all in here. I'm basically just barely touching the bottom of the cluster. If you do this without gloves, you want to be real careful not to get stung, obviously. If you get stung, don't twitch because you'll break the combs. Okay, so that's where the bees are. I don't want to put any smoke in here because I don't want to get the bees disturbed because technically we're still introducing a queen. Here's another way you can get to clean the bees off of the cage. Just run it through your hands like that. And she's out. They've cleaned all the candy out. So we need to check for eggs again. This cluster is really spread out. They're not really making deep combs. See, that's where the cage was right there. See, they did everything they could not to connect the comb to the cage. I see one egg on there. Here's the rest of them.
There's eggs right there, but there's eggs right there. These are, there's eggs right in there too. Now I see them. Yeah, so there's eggs in there. see this come again. See that's empty in there. So you might have to pull a comb or two to check. Keep them vertical. Notice how I'm working with my fingertips. In, out, in, out, in. Nice and easy. That's because my top bars hang over the edge of my hive, so I got a little extra room to pick them up like this, you see. So we save this package colony from flying off into the woods with their extra queen. The queen is out of the cage that came with them, and now she's laying. But what we really need to do is to get them to build deep combs. See how those combs are so shallow? You need those combs to grow to the floor of the hive. And that's why you gotta keep feeding them. Because it takes sugar water and it takes pollen to make wax. When the main nectar flow comes on, they stop taking that sugar water, you can take the feeder out. And then it'll run off, all that comb production will run off of the nectar flow. So that's that. Not too bad. Tighten the top bars up. This one I got a little cleat on for the front, and that was in good shape.